You've tried just about everything the gurus told you to do, yet there hasn't been much headway. Why do you think that is? These experts will have you believe that their methods are tried and tested. Some might even guarantee that they're foolproof. So how come she still seems so distant? It's time to switch gears and maybe take the road less traveled, the unconventional approach. Here are nine weird ways to make her like you more. Number nine, bring someone along with you. You might have already tried being the mysterious guy at the edge of the bar who looks up from his drink and stares her down. Did it work? Odds are it'll never work. You're giving off an unapproachable energy. Someone who wants to stay alone and looking at someone from across the room doesn't seem inviting. For all you know, she might just be wondering why you keep looking over at her. It sends all the wrong signals. The easiest way to get someone to come up is to seem social and have an inviting energy. Now how would you go about that? If you weren't there with a game plan in mind, you could have just as easily been talking to a few people, laughing and having a good time. She would have noticed this and walked over to you, started a conversation, and the rest would have been history. But you do have a game plan here. Now if you were to start talking to random people in the room, it wouldn't work. First of all, not everyone is welcoming toward a stranger. Plus, it takes a minute for someone you've just met to open up to you. Switch gears here. Bring someone you already know along with you. It might seem weird, but trust us. When you're conversing with someone you know, even if it's to get someone's attention, the conversation will flow naturally. You won't have to work harder to seem like you're having a good time. The truth is, no one can fake having a good time, and she'll see that you're genuinely someone who's sociable and likable. You don't have to hide the fact that you know this person either. Sure, you might want to hold off on telling her that you brought them along, maybe hold off on that for good. Anyway, she'll notice the guy who's smiling, laughing and enjoying himself and want in on that energy. Number 8. Talk about common interests within earshot. Let's say you already have a bit of rapport with the woman you're interested in. The vibes are there and you're trying to turn them into something more. The problem is, you don't know how to move up from the zone you're in. Nothing can help get a woman's attention more than a common interest. In this case, you're a step ahead and you already know what she likes or enjoys talking about. The thing is though, you're not supposed to just go up to her and start talking about her interests. Sure, she'll be interested and invested in the conversation, but it'll be painfully obvious that you worked in her interests in a conversation just to talk to her. You don't want to seem desperate. So what's the next best course of action? This might involve a little trickery, but it's for a good cause. Start talking about something she's interested in, sports, fashion, current events and all that, within her earshot. So you'll want to stay close by enough, but facing and talking to someone else. Work her interests into the conversations in the most natural way imaginable. She's strategically within earshot, and now her attention's towards what you guys are talking about, specifically what you have to say about it. Don't say something that conflicts with what she thinks, that'll just start a debate. On the other hand, don't feign interest too much, she'll know. She seems interested in what she likes, but is slightly unsure about the topic. This will kickstart a conversation where she starts talking about it in depth hook, line, and center. Number 7. What to and not to compliment. You've probably heard this one before, but compliments can do wonders. The fact is, however, most guys don't know where to start or when to stop. This can immediately turn things awkward, and instead of developing a deeper interest in you, she might just get turned off. There's another thing you need to consider too, what you should and shouldn't compliment. For example, don't compliment her handbag, her shoes, or anything like that. There's no shame in it, but where would that get you besides just a weak thanks? What you want to do is compliment her features or something you feel like she put in an effort in. So her smile's a no-brainer, and so are her eyes. Maybe compliment what she's wearing, but don't go into too much depth here. Don't fixate too much on what she's wearing. She'll smile at you complimenting her dress for a minute before getting creeped out. Number 6. Look into her left eye. Eye contact is a tried and tested way to get someone's attention. It's also a great indicator that you're attracted to someone. However, let's take this up a notch and tell you a definitive way to get her interested. The trick here is to look into her left eye. Focus all of your attention there. 
you're probably asking whether it makes a difference if you stare into her left eye or right, or even look at both eyes together. Does it really change things? Yes, it does. The truth is that some people don't know how to maintain eye contact. Some people tend to turn it into a stare down, and some nervously look away because they don't know what else to do. Focusing on her left eye helps in maintaining her gaze without being awkward for either of you. So why her left eye? Well, most people are right eye dominant, which means she'll want to reciprocate the same and maintain eye contact too. The best way to keep things as effortless and attractive as possible is to focus on her less dominant eye. Number 5. Switch your deodorant. Scents really do make a difference, and it's about time everyone acknowledges the power of a good deodorant and cologne. Now you might think that we're telling you she'll be attracted to you based solely on your scent. That's true, but that's not all. The thing is, you'll also start to radiate more confidence if you know you smell good. You can smell your scent on yourself for a minute or two before your mind shuts off to it. Everyone else can still smell it, but you're indifferent to it then. While your sense of smell might be temporarily shut off, your sense of sight obviously won't. You can see people take a whiff as you pass by, or even turning around to see who smells so darn good here. The confidence boost is everything. Yes, the scent helped to get their attention, but seeing a competent man on the other side of it was what kept them engaged. Number 4. Don't skip on coffee. There might be a thing as being over-caffeinated, and we definitely want to avoid that. However, if you really want to get a woman to like you more, you don't want to skip out on your morning cup of joe. Caffeine is a natural supplement that keeps your mind active and alert throughout the day. You're going to want to be active when the woman you're interested in approaches you and starts to talk to you. The last thing you'd want is to seem disengaged and uninterested. Even if you're not trying to give off that energy, maybe you just seem so tired and exhausted that you can't keep up with the conversation. No one wants to feel like they're doing all the heavy lifting in a conversation. It sends all the wrong signals. Number 3. Call someone you trust. Some people just don't know how to strike up a conversation with someone they're interested in. They've seen all the videos on what to do, but they're too nervous to actually go through with any of it. For example, some people get anxious when they're around someone they're interested in, especially with a lot of people around the two of them. If you're in that same situation, here's a trick that'll get you feeling a whole lot more confident in minutes. Call someone you know and trust. This could be a parent, a sibling, or even a friend. Don't start talking about the woman you're interested in, of course. Talk about something mundane. Tell them you're just calling to catch up. Make it seem like it's just a quick conversation. The thing is, hearing a familiar voice when you're in a setting that would otherwise make you nervous helps calm your nerves. Now, you'll start to feel more confident and secure. By the time you say your goodbyes, you'll feel a jolt of energy that'll help you walk up to her and start a conversation. Number 2. Take her to an escape room. Let's say you've already asked her out on a date. She's interested enough, but you want to take things to another level. The date's your best shot at getting there. All hands on deck, where are you taking her? The obvious answer would be to dinner, for a movie, or a picnic. Don't do any of that. Instead, take her to an escape room for something that'll have you two working as a team. The goal here is to show her that the two of you work well together. Number 1. Talk to people around you. Don't kickstart whole conversations with people when you're out with her, but don't focus all of your energy on her either. This might seem controversial, but you don't want to make her overly conscious or nervous. You want her to have a good time and like you more, right? The best way for her to feel at ease around you, and that you're a good, likable guy, is to greet the people around you. Say hi to the server, compliment a guy who passes by on his shirt, and just do little things that'll make her feel at ease and also that you're a really cool guy to be around. What are some weird ways you've gotten a woman's attention? Let us know in the comments.